Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Krishna. Hope you have enjoyed my previous videos on office automation. Today in this session, I'm going to show you how to copy paste content from Excel to MS Word. So for example, I have this data of marks sheets. This is an example and you can have other type of content as well. All right, and I have two sheets. One is a mark sheet and other one a data. So the data sheet contains the marks of all the 10 students uh, in a table and in the sheet called mark sheet, I have one particular student data. So I'm gonna select which student I want the details. All right, once I change the role number, the content will change. And after that, if I click on generate marks card, it will create me a MS Word page with the same content. So I'm just copy. Okay, I'm just copying this content and pasting back to MS Word. I'm going to show you the VBA code for that. And also I'm going to keep the data, all these files, Excel and MS Word in the description below okay let me show you what happens if i click this button all right and uh, i want a uh, mark sheet for roll number 1010 okay i'm gonna select 1010 here okay the marks have been changed accordingly okay and then i'm gonna click on generate marks card okay this is my marks card for roll number 1010 and this is the exact copy of what i had in ms excel all right i'm gonna do it again this time for roll number 1006 and then click on generate marks card Okay, uh, once you click on this, the document will be saved under some location that's predefined. In my case, it's here. Okay, I have generated two marks cards. All right. Okay, and of course you can print this in other form performance as well. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what is the VBA code to do this. So it's very simple. So let me go to the code first. Go to developer, visual basic. So this is the macro I have written to copy the content from Excel to MS Word. Okay, it's very simple. You The key thing is copying from Excel and pasting it onto MS Word and then saving a document with a file name. So file name is a variable. So I have defined it here. You can keep whatever you want. All right, and the other thing you have to note here is the objects. I have two types of objects. One is a document and other one is a word. Okay, so as you can see here, this is a object of word dot application. So I'm going to copy paste this code in the description below. Please check it out. Okay, so if you don't know how to use this VBA code, so I'm gonna show you how to copy and paste this code into your Excel. So first of all, go to developer tab and check the macro security. It should be should be enable all or enable macros except digitally signed macros. All right. I mean no 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 no. If you select other than this, it will it may not work. This is the option you should select. 
file your macro to be working okay and then copy the content from uh, the description below go to visual basic here you can do one of these okay insert a module so i have this module here so you just have to paste the content here all right so that's the first step i'm not gonna do that because it's already there and then go back to your excel so to create a button again go to developer insert a button form control draw it here okay so it will ask you to assign a macro so in my case this is the macro i'll just say okay all right so this is in edit mode so you can change the name whatever you want or something like press here all right so if you come out of this now it's not in design mode so if you click it will be in execution mode okay to go back to a uh, design mode you just have to click here no okay you just have to click right click and so once you right click it will be in design mode all right so you can find these files under the description under the description below thanks for watching